Oh, wow. Wow, this is way cleaner. It's a big moment, guys. Oh. What's up, guys? Today is a big day. As you might know, the infamous Quest 3 finally launched, and so did a lot of other products like the AR classes, where Meta and Ray-Bans did together, where you can film stories, talk to the AI, and so forth. And as a big tech nerd and VR investor, I had no choice but to get everything. So today we're gonna pack all the cool stuff that they got. I'm gonna try it out live and give my feedback and reaction to how I like it, if it's worth for you to try it out yourself and see how it stacks up against you know, what we had before, like the Quest 2. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, I have a feeling this one is going to be the AR glasses because it came in last. And this has only been shipped today, so I'm one of the first humans to try it out. And there we go, here's the wonderful Ray-Bans times Meta. And by the way, I had to buy these all myself. As much money as I put into all kind of Meta companies, they're not giving me any freebies. So if you're listening, hook me up next time. But we get the Wayfarer, so that's, I asked the girl which shape would look good on me. She told me one, I bought the opposite, naturally. Um, and so we got the Ray-Bans. Ooh, it's got a light. Just coming a little bit closer, I just touched it. And what I noticed is that there's like a charging within the, the case, which is insane. And so we're gonna take it out. Beautiful. Can take these off. It's a big frame. It's definitely a big frame, but how cool do I look? Very cool. Very cool. Now I have to figure out how to turn these on. Well, the cool thing is there's a charging thing in there. Hold on. Okay, get started. Oh, well, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of buttons. Okay, we got a power switch, a capture button, the camera, the there's a touchpad. There's a touch. Ooh, it's crazy. All right, so w w I'll figure this out. Oh, I need to get the app. I was hoping it would like speak to me. Just download the app, MetaView. I'm going to open it, get started, make sure your class are charged, and place them in the case. Press and hold the pairing button on the back of the case for five seconds. Oh, look at this, there's like hidden, hidden buttons. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I hear them. Connect. Damn, like it's a really techy case with buttons, charging port, local network access required, firmware updates, I guess, steal all my data. Meta can now fill my whole house. Wants to join, I guess, take my life savings. Now he can, vlog without being annoying, be like, we're out here. You're just like, we're out here. <laughs> it's updating. Yeah, because you're definitely gonna go to a party and wear glasses and just be like, oh, hey girl, what's up? You know, I'm not filming you right now or anything, but you know, it's gonna, <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be what? <laughs> you can wear them in other situations too. Let's just put it that way. But anyway, while it updates, we can go over here, maybe some of the less interesting stuff. I know the big one has the Quest hiding, so let's just see some of the cool little upgrades I bought for myself. Like, for example, the hand straps. Yay. This is mostly, the hand straps are for the VR, so that, like, if I do something active, like, uh, playing sword, like sword fighting inside swordsman, or I'm doing a fitness workout that the things don't just like f go flying anywhere so I can like let go and it still stays in my hand. Empty, empty. Let's go next. What's in here? This is a comfort strap. Yay. Uh, this is like for silicone so you can like wash it. It's more hygienic and whatnot. Simple little upgrade that makes wearing the Oculus more comfortable. I guess not called the Oculus anymore, the Quest. And then what do we got here? Ooh, the elite ha head strap. So this is a head strap where A, it's more comfortable, you can wear it for longer and also has a charger in it. So there's an extra battery so it doesn't die on you after two hours. Again, cool little upgrade. And then this one is probably the charging station. While we're waiting for the update, we're almost done here. It's the charging station. So I can charge both the controllers and the headset all in one. I can put it over there with my whole VR collection. You can see the valve. Valve is here, usually the Quest 2 is there. Got the sub pack down there. And so this can always be nicely cleaned up sitting there and getting recharged. Let's see, do we have enough time? We're gonna do the first, the first little look inside while this is still updating. Oh wow, yeah, we also got the, the case so I can travel with it because I love going on the road and carry my VR headset with me so I don't have to talk to humans. I can go right back into my virtual world. Whee. And there it is. Very compact, I have to say. Very, very compact, small little packaging. That's the Quest 3. 
Um, got the five and 12 gigabytes one, because like by now some games they take, you know, two, three gigabytes of data. And uh, in fact, bigger ones like Veil, which is coming to Quest 3, you know, shout out XLab, I think it's roughly 12 gigabytes, right? And so, because I test a lot, right? We invest in VR, I sometimes test like five games in a week. I need to have enough storage to download it. So it's rebooting the classes right now, it's still going. So why don't we take a little look while we wait? People say, Privacy is a thing of the past at these classes. Well, they're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, I don't want to say like think it was in, in, inevitable anyway, but the thing with the Quest 3 that I like is that it has cameras on the outside, right? Um, technically, the Quest 2 had that already, but it was really bad at um, like scanning a room. Now it's really good at scanning a room. Now you might say, that's scary. Meta's gonna like, you know, scan my whole room. It's gonna know what furniture I sit on. It's gonna know how big my house is. So it can like, it can make it an estimate of like how wealthy or poor you are based on the place you live, right? It's true, fair, right? It's gonna be really good for the advertising data. That being said, it also makes the experience much easier because in the past with the Quest 2, you had to like scan the whole room like manually and be like, this is my little corner that I'm gonna be playing in. Now, supposedly, we're gonna see this in a second, you just put it on and it immediately tells you where you, your like walking area is. And it can also turn this, this physical table into a digital table. So like in a, in a game, something might land right on the table and I can grab it from the table or I can place a digital item on top of it, right? So it's gonna make the experience a lot better. I would liken it to Amazon Alexa, where yeah, I mean, is Amazon listening to you? Probably, right, or Google Home. Um, but we're still doing it for convenience, right? Uh, yeah, so. You know, you choose, you choose. If you have something to hide, I would probably not, you know, um, do either of the two, but let's see, I'm struggling. Let me go. Before we open, it seems like it's ready. So we're gonna go back. Meta would like to send me notification. Put on your classes, it's a big moment, guys. Oh, dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay, what now? Learn the basics. Okay, press the capture button once. Boom, I just took a picture of you. <laughs> okay, press and hold the capture button for recording. Okay, I'm gonna film you now. Damn. Ooh, I'm filming, yeah, tell me something. We're gonna put this in the video later in case they actually record it. Tap the touchpad once. I think it's on the side. What I can hear see? music. No way. Yeah. I mean, can I you hear it? Yeah. That is cool. Oh, how, swipe forward to make it louder. How is the quality of the sound? Is it like, it sounds Super like clean. clean. Super clean, it's like as if it was in my, in my ears. Wow. And can you hear it? I can hear it. Okay, let me make it lower. What's next? Great job, that's it, basics. Now let's set up some advanced features. Turn on voice controls, enable voice controls. Cool, so now that we get to the AI part of it. See, I'm giving them more and more rights to my life. Now they're asking, can they store my voice controls? Uh, if you look at me, does it tell you that I'm a target or that I'm a friend? <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Location features. They're really getting everything from me now. <laughs> All right, allow while using the app. They do ask for a lot of data here. Mm. Oh, there's Spotify tabs. So here's, there's Discover Spotify tabs. So you can listen to music with Spotify. Hands-free calling and custom sick. voice settings. That's sick. Share additional data for better experience. Well, at least they're asking. All to our overlords suck. Okay. How so, is it looking through the glasses? Do you see a difference between normal glasses or is it? No, it's Ray-Bans. It's, it's super clear, but I want to talk to Meta now. Hey, Meta. How's the weather in Miami today? A few hours. It will remain sunny with minimal temperature changes. Later in the evening. Do you hear it? Slight cooling. There's no chance of precipitation throughout the day. Hey, Meta. What is your biggest lesson from the fall of the Roman Empire? One of the biggest lessons from the fall of the Roman Empire is the importance of maintaining effective governance, as excessive decentralization and inefficient leadership played a significant role in the downfall. Wow. Do you see something on the screen or is it just... There's nothing on the screen. So that's a little bit of the 
false advertising they did on their, their, their video at MetaConnect that they had the blue button, bubbles, but I guess they wanted to communicate what it does without showing. Now, the cool thing is that there's apparently an update coming in the next few months where it can start recognizing items. So for example, I can say, hey, Meta, what am I looking at? For now, he's saying he can't help with the kind of request. But in their announcement, they said that um, it can actually, you know, the AI can comment on what it's seeing. So, you know, I might be at a street sign, you know, in a foreign country and say, like, you know, what is this saying or where am I? And it might tell you exactly. So what, what do you think from now trying them? What is the benefit that it brings to your life? Like, what do you use them for yourself? <laughs> it's a cool gadget. Uh, no, I think if I was like traveling, like I was just on the road for two weeks, I think this would be super cool for like stories and video content because personally, I think this would be way cooler and more relaxed, like record this way than always. I hate being this guy like, yeah, you know, we out here just, you know, getting some business done, closing deals, <laughs> see you on the other side, you know, no, like this is so much chiller where I can like be in the back of an Uber, capture a little B-roll, you know, I could be that guy and go to a meeting and wear them, you know, without them knowing, probably shouldn't do that, but... Um, I think that's what it's coolest for. And I could see myself like talking to my glasses um, without many people around. I do think you'd get some weird looks if I'm like, you know, I'm doing my, my, my daily brickle key run and I'm just like, I, I don't even know what I would ask it, you know? But that's play a song or something. The one thing that's cool about it is one less item. If we go to the beach and I don't want to lose my AirPods, I just take my glasses with me. I got my sun protection, I got my filming, I've got my audio, got it all. Yeah. Right? So I think that's pretty cool. Cool. Want to go off to the next one? Let's go to the next one. All righty. Let's go to the next one. I'll explore this more. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of cool apps that are going to come. You know, they've already got a whole selection here from camera to calling, music. I wonder how many more apps they're going to come. But that's a pretty awesome first kind of venture, I guess, besides the quest into hardware because Meta was never a hardware company. Would you say that's the first step to what do you call the things that they put in your eye? Oh, the contact lenses, yeah. you know, the contact lenses. That's going to be hard because, you know, like you still have, there's some audio there, there's microphones, speakers, cameras. To put all that in, an, in a lens, you know, I mean, there's the technology needs to go somewhere. But I mean, again, just to recap, you know, it is impressive in terms of how much tech they put in there in a very, very sleek way that doesn't look much bigger. I just bought Ray-Bans myself and this is not much bigger than a regular Ray-Ban, right? I don't know who does, but like for anybody that remembers Google Class, so back in 2013, Google had their first AR classes. Um, it had this huge side thing. It was like thin on one side, massive thing on the right side, and then a little corner TV on the top right corner where you like look up to the right to see what's on there. Um, and I think it's interesting too that an AR class goes away from a screen, like there's no screen on there, but instead says, hey, how much controls can we create just by voice? Yeah. Voice, touchpad, connection with the phone. I think that's a smart approach. So with that, let's unveil the much awaited Meta Quest 3. Da -da -da. It's a pretty, pretty small, right? Let's see. Wow. And just for comparison, oh, yeah, so this bat big boy is the Quest 2. This big boy is the Quest 2. And this small boy is the Quest 3. And to look at size comparison wise, it's a pretty meaningful difference. Yeah, pretty it looks meaningful. much lighter. Looks much lighter, looks more comfortable. Like look at how much white there is, right? Like yeah. let's do the test. Oh wow. It definitely fits much better. I see already less light than on the Quest 2. Okay. Now we just gotta turn this bad boy on. The controller is also very different. The old controllers used to have. Oh wow! Wow, this is way cleaner. So I see you right now, by the way. Like it's colored. It's colored. I see you standing there. I see my whole living room. Like my first experience is me seeing everything, pretty sharp in color, and there's just a big screen floating. Oh yeah, the one before was black and white. Before right? it was, no, it was black and white and you wouldn't see anything. Now I see everything in color. I'm in my home and there's a huge screen that has the instructions. Nice. Wow. Apparently there's like a little turning thing. That's interesting. To make it like more comfortable for your eyes, I guess. And the cool thing is also because it's possible, I can see my own hands and everything. I don't, it's not like, 
weird little avatars. How much did that cost? Was it, was it more expensive than the other one? So the normal one costs 500, but with the bigger gigabytes, it's 650. Okay. And the, uh, the AR glasses were 300. And see, in the past, I would have to take my headset off. Now I can keep my headset on, see everything I do on my phone. Yeah. And in the past, I would have had to type in my crazy long Wi-Fi password. Instead, it's telling me to scan a QR code. Scanning the room for me right now. Boom. Wait, so you don't even need to control this? No, I don't need controls. I can like, con like I have a virtual hand on top of my own. And if I do this, it selects. Nice. So like it just created a whole boundary for me. And so for example, I can walk around here. And in the past, I would need to like scan it out. Now it's made it for me. What I love about this now is like in the past, in the old quest, you know, I would be in this really, oh, this is so cool. No, stay where you are. It's, it's fucking funny. You're very so, close though. I know. Well, you are right there and I've got my menu here, right? <laughs> and I can like look at screens and whatnot. Boom. Oh, it's recording. Nice. So now you see what I see. Sick. See? Um, so I got my little menu here. I just installed a couple games. Let's scroll through. You know, we got Tripcute, one of our portfolio companies. Swordsman, really cool company. We're gonna do a, a game, the company, for me it's company, but we're gonna do a video, I think, on like some of the top fighting games where you see me in the arena because I'm such a gladiator. Uh, Bone Labs, very proper games downloading. Let's see, Preachers. I just wanna play something. Uh, you know, let's just play the tutorial real quick so we can see how it feels inside. Nice quality. Oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the ESTF <laughs> training facility. I'll guide you through these training courses, which are designed to get you ready for combat. First, move to the indicated spot. Well done. Please follow me to start the movement tutorial. Good, let's get familiar with vaulting. Please approach the glowing edge of the box and grab it. Then pull yourself onto the box. There we go. Perfect. Now jump off and follow me to vault. What is that game? Times. Huh? What is that game? Preachers. Here's a funny thing. Let's I don't even know sprinting. if this is optimized for position. Quest 3 yet, but the graphics do look nicer. Um, okay. You know, a lot of games, they first need to upgrade Hello, the graphics. Guys. Yeah. Jump down and follow me. This is Ooh. where the fun starts. Repelling. You can shoot your grappling hook up by aiming for the ledge above you and using the trigger button on your controller. Press and hold it while you aim for the ledge and let go when it turns green. Oh, what? Great. Now push your movement joystick forward to climb up the wall. That's cool. You can also move left and right while repelling against the wall. Okay. Now purchase the Jesper pistol. This is your default pistol. Great. The weapons and gadgets you purchase appear on your now. Shoot the target. Your magazine is depleted. Press the A. Now look at your hip to see the ammo pouch. Grab a new magazine. Well done. The guns reload automatically. But nice. Now holster the gun and open up the body menu again. It feels very comfortable compared to the old one. Less flying around. The one thing I do notice is it heats up pretty quickly. Quick thoughts. So first off, what I love is that um, the MR angle that from the moment you put it on, you're inside your space, you see pass through. I think it's so, so important because like when you do it socially, VR is always this awkward thing where you can't see what people are doing around you. You're afraid that like you're gonna hit something. Instead, you're, you're starting in a comfortable space. You're starting in your space and there's simply cool windows overlaid where you can, you know, menu and everything. It's, it's less new getting to used to, right? That's one. Two, I love that it automatically scans the area for you. In the past, I'd all, every single time, I'd be like walking around, you know, making my little playing space. But now, no matter where the furniture stands, every time can be different. It just, boom, knows where you're playing. Uh, graphics look better. I love that the ability to, you know, control without the controller. Um, and yeah, so overall, also from a fit-wise, fit-wise, super comfortable fit. Um, so I think it's, worthwhile upgrade. If you've never played VR before, I definitely recommend, you know, maybe starting off with this one, uh, Bequest 3, because it will probably last you at least two, three, four years because they just came out and, you know, they don't release new ones more than every two years. Um, but yeah, if you already have a Quest 2, you know, maybe maybe wait around for Christmas, maybe there are some deals or something. I, you know, I think the Quest 2 still gets you a lot of the way. And so maybe you can skip the 3 and go to the 4. I don't know, but if you're brand new, I highly, highly recommend giving it a shot because VR has come a long way 
since you've probably tried it.